Happy Good Friday to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. What a day to celebrate what Jesus has done for us. And we are grateful. We're thankful. And we praise our God for his goodness towards us. And as we continue to reflect on the passion of the Christ, his love towards us, let's hear Isaiah 53, starting at verse 3. He was despised and rejected by men. He was a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hid their faces, he was despised. And we esteemed him not. Surely he had bored our grief and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was our chastisement that brought our peace. And with his wounds, we are healed. I like verse 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord had laid upon him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Like a lamb that was led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before his shed, he was silent. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. And as for the generation, who considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living? stricken for the transgression of my people. The word of God to the people of God. The question this morning, what is your desire as a believer? What is your goal? What are you pressing towards? I like Paul's response. Philippians 3, verse 8 through 11. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith. This is our desire, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his sufferings, becoming like him, in death, that by any means possible, I may obtain the resurrection from the dead. The word of God to the people of God. Let's celebrate today. Let's honor God. Yes, he was wounded. He died. He was buried when he got up. Just like he said, And today, we forever live to make intercession for us. That's what we celebrate. We commemorate what took place. But we celebrate what is now. Christ Jesus lives. And he lives forevermore. Father, we thank you that our hearts are glad today. That our souls rejoice today. That in our minds we are clear. We have concluded. We have no other argument. We have no other plea. It was your love that brought us to this place of grace and salvation. And for that we are grateful, thankful. 
and we give you praise. Thank you for doing it for us. But more importantly, that our desires will be to know you, the power of your resurrection and the fellowship of your suffering, being conformable unto your death, that we may obtain the resurrection of the dead. Help us to be our desire today as believers, to know Christ, whom to know is life everlasting. Father, I thank you. And I praise you today that we mean something to you. Thank you that we are your sons. We are heirs to the throne. Help us to live so today as we rejoice in the God of our salvation. We yield those who lead the nations this morning, including our prime minister and all of parliament, their families. We bless you, God for leaders everywhere as we seek to honor you in serving today. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. Let your name be exalted, O God, not only now, but forevermore. Thank you, Lord. In the name of the Father, thank you. In the name of the Son, in the name of Holy Spirit, we honor you. Amen. God bless you today as we celebrate on this good Friday. He is not here. Yes, we know that already. He's risen. Like he said, thank God for the power of Jesus because he trusts the Father. Let's enjoy today. Let's celebrate in Jesus' name. Amen.